Continuing coverage on a story we first brought you on News Channel 3 this morning. Two armed robbery suspects hospitalized following an officer-involved shooting in the parking structure at the Agua Caliente Casino in Palm Springs. News Channel 3's Shelby Nelson is live in Palm Springs with the very latest on this investigation. Shelby. Karen, a very extensive investigation underway right now. As you can imagine, investigators have been here for hours since that shooting happened overnight at around 2 a.m. this morning. And take a look, that area of the parking structure at Agua Caliente here in Palm Springs is still blocked off. Now on the other side of the mesh, there is still that suspect vehicle, a white Honda Accord, as well as the Palm Springs police vehicles of the officers that were involved in this shooting as well. We do know, however, those two suspects have been caught. A crime scene blocking off the parking structure of Agua Caliente Casino in Palm Springs for hours. The first call that we got about uh, these suspects was about 1245 in the morning here in Palm Springs. Palm Springs Police Lieutenant William Hutchinson says two suspects approached a man, one of them pulling out a gun and demanding the victim's belongings. Something happened where that nothing had transpired from there. The victim left, the suspects left. Um, and there was not a successful robbery. But that was just the beginning. 15 minutes later, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department receives a call of an attempted robbery, this time at the Agua Caliente Casino in Rancho Mirage. Then about an hour later, around 2.03, this uh, security personnel from the Agua Caliente in Palm Springs call us tell us that they see the same suspects, the same vehicle is back in their parking structure. Police say security spotted the suspect vehicle, a white Honda Accord. They then start telling us that they see a robbery occurring where they've gone up to a woman, placed a hand around a woman's mouth, presented a firearm, and then uh, ran back to a vehicle with her purse. Shots were fired inside the parking lot behind me. Police say the confrontation happened just as the suspects were leaving. Something transpires between the officers and the suspects and uh, a shooting occurs. Uh, three officers fire uh, into the vehicle. Um, both suspects are um, are shot as a result of this shooting. The Honda Accord stayed at the scene with the trunk popped open. It worries me. Uh, there's a lot of crime in Palm Springs, but I'm not going to let it make me stay at home. The overnight crime didn't stop patrons from entering. Some worried while others. No, I'm not worried at all. Why not? Because it's probably a one time thing. This place is pretty secure. Okay. I've been coming here a long time, so. Nothing like this has ever happened. Ukaipa resident Howard Moffat frequents the casino. He says he's not surprised it happened, but it also reminds him to stay vigilant. Having your keys in your hand, uh, noticing how close somebody's coming up behind, you know, just little things that you would, you know, you notice your surroundings. You just, you got to be aware. None of the victims were hurt. The suspects are being treated for their injuries. Now, those suspects are expected to be okay. Now, per Palm Springs Police Department policy, the officers who were involved in the shooting have been placed on administrative leave pending the investigation. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department, as well as the district attorney, is handling the investigation. Live in Palm Springs, I'm Shelby Nelson, News Channel 3.